A very warm good morning. The SVKM's NMIMS School of Science was born out of the foresight of the, of the university with a view to providing undergraduate and postgraduate students an opportunity to venture into the fascinating world of sciences. It began in the year, academic year 2007-2008. The vision of the School of Science is to be globally recognized as a premier science research institution offering a memorable learning experience. The school offers highly innovative and unique interdisciplinary programs in pure and allied sciences. We offer postgraduate program in statistics, biological sciences in chemistry and in physiotherapy, an integrated master's PhD program in biological sciences, chemistry and a doctoral program in biological sciences, chemistry and in physiotherapy. We also offer certificate courses in molecular medicine and molecular oncology. This year, we have introduced a postgraduate diploma program with the renowned Asian Heart Institute, Mumbai. We have also initiated a PhD program in chemistry for industry professionals. The focus of our school is to create and develop a pool of qualified scientific talent who will fulfill the needs of premier research organizations, industry, as well as in an industry setting. Thus, the program aims to ensure employability and addresses global demands. Till date, we have awarded 13 PhD students their degree and an additional nine will be convocating this year. Now, the life sciences and biotechnology sector in India is one of the rapidly evolving sectors and it's slated to play a pivotal role in the future. Currently, India's share in the global biotech market is US dollars 4 billion and the sector has witnessed a growth of approximately 33% in the last few fiscal years. The School of Science is geared to focus on some of the novel emerging areas of innovative research and development in the life sciences and biotechnology space. The SVKM management has been very supportive and this has resulted in the establishment of a state-of-the-art tissue culture laboratory, sophisticated instrumentation and also provided funding for research. Our major areas of research are in stem cells and regenerative medicine, cancer biology, phytochemistry, and nanosciences and its application. One application is in the development of energy storage devices using nanomaterials, and the second is in fabrication of nanobiosensors for diagnosis and therapeutic applications. In 2013, we secured government funding of rupees 45 lakhs for a du duration of three years from the Department of Science and Technology for our interdisciplinary research project on nanosciences and stem cells. This is a collaborative project with pioneering institution IIT Bombay. This year, the work has resulted in two peer-reviewed international publications, cumulative impact factor of six. One of our project on oral cancer has been approved for research funding in 2014 by the Indian Council of Medical Research. The sanctioned amount is rupees 55 lakhs for a period of three years. We are still awaiting the money. Just to mention that oral cancer is a high incident cancer in our country. India tops in the prevalence of oral cancer in the world and remains the commonest cancer among males in the Indian population. Hence, the research is of national importance. Two projects on nanosciences have been submitted for government funding this year and we expect funding for the same. As we are aware that faculties play an important role in the development of any organization, we have recruited faculty from reputed organizations like IIT Bombay, NIRRH, FMR, ACTREC, and faculty with extensive experience from global industry like IMS, IMS Health. Our current faculty strength is 11, out of which approximately 55% hold a PhD degree. One faculty is currently pursuing her PhD degree from the Department of Statistics, IIT Bombay. Our non-teaching staff is five, who help us in all our other activities. Now in the statistics program, we have undergone a major curriculum restructuring, which has been the inclusion of live projects from the finance, insurance, banking, telecom provider and manufacturing sectors. And this allowed our students of statistics to get a real feel on projects and in the process grooming them to face the challenges in an industry setting. The number of students in our statistics program has increased substantially. One key development in 2014 has been the launch of a peer-reviewed open access journal, the Biomedical Research Journal, published by the school for promoting the advancement and sharing of ideas and discoveries in the interdisciplinary realms of science and technology. 
To ensure quality, we have constituted a strong editorial board comprising of renowned scientists both at the national and international level. We publish two issues per year. The last two years has witnessed an increasing trend in the number of publications from our school. Three patents were filed and the total number of publications from the school is 75. Our students have also presented their work in approximately 10, 80 national and international conferences, out of which 20 have won awards. We have formed various committees like the Journal Club, Placement Cell, Industrial Interface Cell to provide a student-centric learning environment. Currently, 10 of our doctoral students are receiving fellowships, five from NMIMS and five from government agencies. Now looking at international linkages, in 2013, the School of Science has entered into a collaborative agreement with the Henry Ford Health Systems Michigan USA to promote student-faculty exchange and share knowledge and expertise in the area of stem cells. We have also entered in, into an MOU with the School of Regenerative Medicine, Bangalore Manipal University. Our chemistry faculty is pursuing collaborative research with two scientists from Germany, Professor Lang at the Department of Inorganic Chemistry, Chemnitz in Germany, and Professor Baumer at the Institute of Analytical Chemistry, Chemo and Biosensors, He's at the University of Regensburg, in Germany. Besides, we are also in talks with the Charles Darwin University, Australia, to formalize a student-faculty exchange program. We have also tied up with uh, SAS Institute, a global leader in analytics software and services to equip our students of statistics with knowledge of advanced analytics and to train them to handle big data. The collaboration with the SAS Institute will enrich our programs and make it industry-centric. I would now like to sum up by giving the next five-year strategic plan for the school. Firstly, in order to be self-financing, the school will now work to increase the intake of students and will initiate programs at the undergraduate level. With the advice of Honorable Chancellor and Mentor NMIMS, Shishalin Divetia, this year we will be starting our course BSc in Statistics and, uh, and uh, Business Analytics this year. Subsequently, in the next year, we will also look at integrated uh, bachelor's, master's program in applied sciences, so as to expand our intake and also to expand our programs. Sorry. We will also work to increasing faculty strength uh, with excellent uh, ac academic and uh, research expertise. On the research front, we will continue to work with in cutting edge areas, and we will, of course, require more infrastructure support and laboratory space. We expect a research funding of approximately 1.5 crores in the next five years, more research publications with higher impact and more patents. We plan to organize at least one international conference in the coming five years, and we'll also apply for international ranking for our in-house journal, that's a biomedical research journal, to get an impact factor. Lastly, we will develop more international linkages and also work towards getting a joint degree with a reputed foreign university. We are indeed honored to have the name of Sri Sunandan Divetia associated with our school and will continue to work with sincerity and passion to achieve our goal to be a center of excellence. Thank you.